Welcome back. In this lesson, I'm going to be showing you activities in NetSuite. And the term activities refers to three different types of records, tasks, phone calls, and events. Now, tasks are any actions that need to be completed, and they have an assigned person, and they have a due date. A phone call is obviously a phone call record that is between a NetSuite user and a contact. And then an event is any scheduled or event that has already occurred that has a date, a time, and a duration. So let's take a look at activities in NetSuite. So here we are on our home dashboard. And if we want to create one of these three from our home dashboard, we can go straight over to this new record button. And you'll see I've got event, phone call, and task right here. Now, if those are not options on your new record, you can go down to personalize and you can simply add them. It's very straightforward. But let's take another approach. Let's go over here to, let's take up a customer. And as soon as we're on this customer, ABC company, we actually can go to, we have the new record button here as well, create new, and we have task, phone call, and event right there. So again, we can create it immediately from that. But again, let's go down a little further and you'll see communication sub tab, and we are automatically, we're defaulted onto the activities sub list. And notice there's nothing down here, but as we generate new activities, they will start logging there. Just like when I showed you in the emails uh, module, as soon as you start logging them, they'll start generating a list of every kind of activity that you have there. And you'll see, we've got all these buttons here. Uh, notice there's two for each. So there's a new task, log task, new phone call, log phone call, et cetera. And basically, that's uh, the new creates a future, let's say a task or a phone call. And the log is like if you had a phone call, you would hit log and it automatically generates that that phone call has already happened. So it's a past as opposed to a future. So let's take a look at, uh, now let's generate a new phone call. So we get this pop-up menu and I'm gonna show you how to do it with a phone call. The pop-up looks almost identical for a task and an event, and I'll kind of point out some key differences, but uh, they look very similar. So I can just walk you through one of these. So in terms of form, it's gonna go with whatever the default form is. In this case, it's the standard phone call form, uh, but we can go to subject and let's say we're gonna do a sales call. And so we have to put in uh, that the status. So in this case, it's scheduled, it hasn't happened yet. Uh, this is your role automatically plugs in there. So this is the Catherine Glass uh, is logged in. We can put the phone number that we're calling in case we wanna you know, record it there so it's easy for us to kind of know what that phone number was. We can have a date uh, that automatically selects today's date. We can obviously click on it and hit calendar, choose a different date. Um, now you've got some other options here, but they're grayed out. Now, if we click reserve time, it's gonna give you a little bit more specific options. So you can add start times, end times. You can also give yourself reminders. So you can either do it through a browser. So kind of a pop-up window similar to this uh, will basically show up saying, hey, you've got this phone call coming up in five minutes. And uh, you can also have it send you an email. So if you click on this, you have those options of a browser pop-up or an email. And you can set, does it happen five minutes before, an hour before, etc. cetera. Uh, you can go down here on message. You can write down, you know, what is this phone call about? What are you trying to um, go over in this sales call? Uh, you can also go to related records. If there's other records, maybe in addition to, we're on the ABC company record, but maybe there's some other contacts that are related to this call or uh, other maybe transactions that relate to this. So you can connect this activity to link over to those other records and you just have to input what those records are here. So those are the key fields you're gonna mark for the average phone call. Uh, now, again, task is very similar, uh, but if you do events, there's gonna be a few different options to add. For example, who's gonna be attending the event or who are some of the key people that are gonna be related to the event, such as maybe some vendors that are gonna be uh, supplying you know, food, et cetera, for the event. You can mark that down in there. And you can also put the location for the event. So that's one difference, but uh, otherwise the fields are very similar from activity to activity. So we're gonna hit save. And now notice that sales call appears down here. So it gives the date in terms of when it is, uh, the time that it's scheduled, et cetera, that's all logged down here. And if, for example, that phone call right now, it's scheduled, but let's say it gets done, you can always go back and hit edit. 
the information comes back up and now you can change it from scheduled to completed uh, after that phone call is done. And same applies to a task or an event. So now we've got this record stated. So let's go back to our home dashboard. Let's say you wanna add a portlet here to be able to access either phone calls, tasks, or events. So what you can do is uh, you go over to personalize and I show you how to do this more specifically in the home dashboard module. But if we go over here, you'll see we have tasks. So we could add that. Uh, I already have phone calls added. Uh, for example, that's down here. Um, and then calendar, that's gonna show my events. So I have these two here and I can simply pull down tasks from the options to add portlets. So you'll see the phone calls. That's got uh, the phone calls that are basically logged here. You can do filters in terms of what you wanna see for them. And you can always customize this portlet based on the video on how to customize. Uh, and then if we go to the calendar here, now this is for events. Right now this is logged for a day, but let's put it down to a month. We're gonna get this little calendar pop up. And as you have events logged, let's say you add a bunch of scheduled events, you'll see these little dots appear. And if you click on the day, it's going to, it also gives you the option to add an event or a task. And as you click on it, it will show you the event and also what time period that event has been scheduled for that day. So those portlets are a way for you to easily keep track on your home dashboard of your tasks, phone calls, and or events. And that's it for activities in NetSuite. I'll see you in the next video.